All right, Ashley, it's a big night. What does it mean to you to be elected to the UCF Hall of Fame? Oh, it is a, it's a very great honor. Um, I'm very excited and I'm, I have the pleasure of being able to be a part of Night Nation for the rest of my life. You're the first woman's golfer to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. What does that honor mean to you? It is, it's a very great honor. I was very shocked when I heard the news, um, but I am very blessed that I am able to be a part of this family for the rest of my life. Does the word legacy mean something different now? No, I, I think that it is, um, it, I mean, part of the legacy, yes. Um, but I never thought of it that way but until now, but yes. Did you have any incline, inclination that you were gonna get the call was coming your way this year, or did you feel like it was? N no, I didn't even, I didn't think about it at all. Um, I got a text maybe, I think, uh, the day before. Okay. And um, they were like, you're in the running, just wanted to give you a heads up kind of thing, but I was very shocked. At first I thought it was a scam text because I didn't <laughs> have the person saved in my phone. And so I was like, who is this? And then I read it and I was like, oh my, I called my parents immediately afterwards. And what was that like getting that phone, that call the the notice that you've been, been Oh, I cried immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was I was very happy and I was very surprised to say the least. Yes. What were your emotions today coming back on campus to UCF? Oh, it's it's great. I mean, there's so many new things around here from cuz I don't come in this area often. I'm I'm more on the east side of Orlando, so I don't come this way often. So being able to see every all of the Every, all the new buildings that I've been building. I've never been in this hotel, so I was I was there. I'm just like, wow, it's just, there's so many, there's so much new things going on. In your time here at UCF, what stands out to you the most about your career here and being forever in China as a knight? A lot. Uh, there's a lot of memories that I have here at UCF, especially with the team and with Coach. It, it brings all of those memories back. Tell us about the young woman who, I guess, showed up, what, 18 or however old you were when you got to UCF and, and when you left four years later, how much did UCF change your life? Oh, it changed my life. It changed my life greatly. I was very nervous. I didn't know what to expect coming into college, having coaches that weren't the coaches that um, recruited me and knowing a didn't know much about the girls that were on the team at the time. It was very nerve wracking to say the least, but um, they became my second family at that time. Ashley, what do you, if you could pick one round of golf from your career at UCF that you think that you remember the most, what would it be? I would say there's not a whole round because I can remember a lot, but I would say there are a few, especially I would say the putt that I had to make to win the tournament at uh, Landfall um, in North Carolina. That stands out a lot. Uh, there were some memories from those few rounds. Um, and then as well as winning the um, conference championship when I was a senior. What do you think about how the school has grown, the program has grown in the bigger picture, and you'll forever be a part of that history? Yes, I, it, I don't think about that often, but when I have, I mean, I've thought about it more since being inducted into the Hall of Fame, but um, it's, it's a definitely a great honor. Do you think about Marin, the head coach, what did she mean to you as far as your playing career? And was she the one, one of the people that, that told you that she was getting, or did you call her to let her know you were getting inducted? Well, the, I got a text from uh, Carlos saying that I was one of the, the options, and then she was the one that called me to give me the news that, that I was one of the inductees. So yes, um, but she, she is like family. Um, obviously, when you're a kid coming into college, you're not expecting all of that at the time of starting college, but she definitely became part of the family throughout the years. What piece of advice would you give a, if you could go back in time and talk to your younger self, what piece of advice would you give now that you've gone through all this and, and, and things like that? There's, there's a lot of advice that I could give. Um, I would say take it all in. Um, definitely looking back, m missing a lot of the, the times that I had here at UCF, all of the great times that I had on and off the course. What would you say was your favorite UCF memory? Was it that putt you made at the landfall, or was there another memory, either off the course or on a different course, that saved that to you the most? It's hard to choose just one because as a team, we were more than just a team, and coach was definitely more than just my coach in the sense of there was, we were family, and there were a lot of memories that were made at that time that I was here at UCF.
So everyone who has supported you along the way and now this beautiful moment, what is your message to them? Thank you <laughs> for, for everything that they did for me throughout the whole process. Thank you. One of those was Coach Marin. What does it mean to you to have her here tonight, still the coach of the women's of the women's golf team? I'm very, I'm very grateful that she is able to be here this evening with us. How's it going? All set. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.